A fallacy a day keeps the doctor away, and the fallacy of the day is appeal to authority. Now, appeal to authority is when you believe something somebody says because of who they are. Maybe they're famous, maybe they have a fancy title or several letters after their name, rather than to look into the information yourself to figure out if it's true or not based on its own merits. So uh, I'll give you a few examples. There's a lot of these celebrity diets out there, and there's this nutrition advice and advice on cleanses and stuff that people follow and they get themselves into hot water. Uh, a good example is, and I love Tony Robbins, but I know a lot of people have turned to veganism because Tony Robbins said so. And it would be one thing if they researched it themselves and they made an informed decision and uh, they, they really um, educated themselves before taking this big step. But that's not what's happening. What's alarming is that these people are saying things like, oh, but it's Tony Robbins. He must know what he's talking about. He must have a whole team of experts behind them. And unfortunately, it's not true. I looked into it, and Tony Robbins made his switch to veganism based on one book, and it's really far away from what science knows about the body. I'm not going to get into it right now. If you're really interested in knowing, I'll be happy to send you the references. <clears throat> Another way this plays out is somebody goes to their doctor and they ask him something like, hey doc, should I take coconut oil? And the doctor freaks out and says, oh no, it's going to raise your triglycerides and they take their advice. Now doctors are wonderful at what they do, but they are not trained for nutrition. It's almost like going to your mechanic and asking him how to fix your computer. Now he may or may not know, but it's not his thing. Doctors on average is a study and I can post it here at the bottom. Doctors on average, during, during the eight years that they're going to medical school, they receive only 23 hours of nutrition training. On average, that means that some of them receive less, some of them receive a little more. But 23 hours, that's just a workshop, a weekend workshop. And then on top it off, to, top it, to top it all off, the, uh, the information that they, uh, that they receive during this nutrition training is from the ADA, the American Dietetics Association. Now, if you want to see what they're about, you can Google ADA sponsors, and you can see all the foods co food companies that sponsor them. So, what are the implications to you if you follow somebody instead of looking into something yourself and believe what someone else says because of their credentials? Well, not only can it seriously impact your health in the long run, but it completely disempowers you. The power to keep yourself healthy is in your own hands. And when you go and you follow somebody else, you're basically giving that power away. So take the power back into your own hands. Learn about the body. Learn how your body works. Just, you know, biology 101. Learn how your stomach works. Learn what happens when you eat certain foods. Learn the basics. Learn really easy stuff. Just put stuff together. Don't take someone's word for it. Just do the research for yourself and be open-minded. 